the first meta is something that teams really haven't kind of had time to adjust to because teams have, for the most part, just been kind of copy comping each other, just mirror comps all over the place with uh, a lot of bunking, a lot of defensive play styles. Oh, muffins. It looks like PZ hasn't been able to adjust to that at the moment. Muffins going down there, exactly. Looks like Mime is going to be killed off. Schnicky's coming off a respawn soon, but the warrior there, Sunfish, <laughs> is going to be dropped as well. And just the absolute... I mean, the insane damage, if you don't get on aerodynamic like that, and he's able to air overload, I mean, your whole entire team is just <laughs> dead. That air overload does insane damage. We'll have to see who Ice Climber Popo wants to go for. It looks like he's trying to get on top of Ipno, who's going to dodge a lot of the damage. Ipno still taking a lot of pressure. Ipno's in the downstate now, and it looks like we also have Sunfish in the downstate. Aerodynamic going in for the stop. Is he going to be able to pick it up? It looks like so. Happy going down, though, and all that DPS coming out. You are going to be seeing a, a couple of people going down, unfortunately, for zero counterplay it is going to be moves who is a lot of their downstate pressure there uh with that trap that was spinning but he's going to be dropping cyndaquil is going to be dropping if is not looking too hot either happy kid able to avoid decaf from aerox but might be taken down himself is he able to finish him off it doesn't look like the glen heal will keep him alive for the time being now aerox needs to dodge roll around might get the stomp here with his elite is it gonna be enough it looks like he is gonna pick up the kill but mime is gonna be in the area he knows he needs to get the stomp asap i'm not so sure he's gonna be able to do anything about it with mime here and probably going to end up getting himself killed, trying to do what he can against Mime, has no help in the area, needs to get out, Shadow Refuge up in a second, but not going to be enough, Mime going to wipe him off the board here. That 1v1 between Urantian and Trackpool, going at it, Trackpool definitely has a little bit of a health pool advantage here, but we saw in the last 1v1, that doesn't mean a whole lot here, that could be definitely going either way, see that Crystal Hibernation coming out from Trackpool, and this is such an intense 1v1 between these guys, playing both playing power builds, no one with a whole lot of Kani pressuring. Trackful actually landing a huge surge of the mist. Is he able to finish him off though? I'm not so sure as Urantian lands a bit himself. Doesn't hit his Glint Elite and it looks like, oh, Trackful takes him out with the Unrelenting Assault this time. Is he able to finish him off? I don't think so. I think Trackful is going to go in the down state here. It's going to be a down fight between these guys before the rest of the party arrives.